Latifa, doesn't really matter. You'll still understand it. Um, yeah, read this first, and then if you like it, um, go on and read my other stuff. Then you've got the five books that are not part of the main story, um, but they're interesting nonetheless. So you've got the first two, Sales Pitch, a rap version, and then Sales Pitch, the prose volume. Um, now, these two are sort of loosely related to um, some of the other books. So you've got the two Venus on Mars books. They're kind of happening at around about the same time as them, only this is what's happening on Earth while they're what's happening on the way to Mars, or a bit of what's happening on Earth, but they're mostly what's happening on the way to Mars. Um, and with these, they're basically both set in a suitcase store. Um, you've got a, a suitcase salesperson who's basically selling suitcases to people who come into the store from all around the world and he's just talking about the issues that affect them so and trying to think of ways to solve those issues that's mainly the prose volume that's about that this one the rap volume is is also about that a little bit but it's um there's also a bit of a story about uh a woman who he works with who he's kind of infatuated with and it kind of ends up on a well it, it's it's a it's quite a crazy little story there but it's all in rap so if you don't like reading rap l lyrics without actually hearing them spat, then um, yeah, you you may not find this too interesting. But it's quite it's quite strange, quite um creative, and yeah, so that's those two. Uh, next one, uh, venture. Now this one, honestly, it was written during the pandemic. It was written when I sort of was, was forcing myself to write. It's not the best. Um, it's meant to be a series of comic strips. I can't draw comic strips so it's basically just a series of little written skits that would be better if they had accompanying pictures with them um, and it's about a guy who's traveling around the world going to different countries and just bumping into people and they're talking about their problems and he's trying to solve them in the best way he can um, it gets a little bit complicated it would be as I said much better with pictures um, I wouldn't recommend it it's kind of like the yeah it, it's not my best stuff and I kind of I I have a tendency to publish every single thing that I write. So I just, I don't want to leave it there, you know, just lying around. I want to publish it. I want to get it out there. But, you know, it's not my best stuff. It's pretty much just published for the sake of having a record of everything that I've written. So that's Venture. Um, you got Deep Down, uh, written just before the pandemic, which is quite interesting because um, it's about a guy on his deathbed and what he likes is something that would surely be something that not many people wanted to do during the pandemic so it's, it's he's got an interesting secret and basically he's dying he's visited from he's visited by a lot of international nurses a lot of nurses from around the world and there's a lot of talk about the cuisine of different countries so if you i mean it's not a recipe book or anything but if you're if you're interested in the foods from different countries if you like uh trying different foods when you travel around the world then you might find this kind of interesting. It's about it's about a lot more than that, but there is a lot of um, talk about different foods um, that the nurses talk about when they uh, talk to this man by his bed. And the last book, well, this isn't the last book I wrote, but it's the last of the ones, yeah, basically the last that I'll be showing you. Um, this is a very interesting one. It's not related at all to the main story. Uh, it's basically, it's, it's like an offshoot. It's a cross between black, um, black books and South Park, those two shows. Um, it's kind of like a series of episodes. It's like 11 episodes, but the 11th one is very long. It just kind of goes on and on and on. I kind of stopped thinking about it as an episode at the time. And I was just writing it like it was a big, yeah, a big book. So about half the book is probably the 11th episode, but the other ones are kind of like, I would assume they're around about the same length as an average South Park episode. I tried to do that, but I, I wasn't really putting too much effort into thinking about the exact, yeah, the time that it would take to sort of enact this, the, the screenplays out. It's all written in a screenplay format. Um, so yeah, if you like South Park, if you like black books, then I think you'd like this. It's, it's quite funny. It's, it's the funniest stuff I've written. Um, yeah, I don't usually write comedy, but this is certainly, yeah, quite hilarious. And the first episode, incidentally, is about the conflict between Russia and America. And this was written back in 2015. So I was sort of talking about it then as a kind of um, 
a lot of fear mongering going on about what Russia's doing and all that. And it kind of still is very relevant today, um, surprisingly. I didn't realize it would be so relevant this many years on, but definitely relevant today. Um, there's also a lot of um, episodes that are kind of about the the lead up to the 2016 election. So there is an episode about Bernie Sanders, who's kind of like a treated like a wizard 